Hi, it's DataBits here. Getting ready to have your friends over for a Super Bowl party or perhaps a World Series party. Why should they come to your house? I mean, you've got the TV, but man, your sound system is terrible. It just sounds like a couple of tin cans connected to a back of an old AM radio from 1945. Well, that's the fault of a lot of TVs nowadays. They just don't have good sound quality. Well, what you're looking at here is my TV, which is a 2010 RCA Plasma television, and it has crappy sound. Let me, uh, let me play you a little bit here. Yours might sound like this, too. So this guy represents your buddy Zach. Every time he comes over to the house for parties or whatever, he's very antisocial. And he never can hear you when you're talking to him. In fact, you always have to turn the TV up loud because, yep, see, he's shaking his head. He always have to turn the TV up loud because he can't hear. So then everybody's yelling at each other. So we have a solution that's going to take care of his hearing impaired needs, right? All right. This guy represents your buddy Jim. Every time he comes over, he drinks a lot of beverages. And because he drinks so much, he has to go to the bathroom a lot. So when he goes to the bathroom, he has to come back and ask you what happened. So we have a solution that is going to allow the sound to go from your television to the bathroom. So whenever he's in there, he hears what's going on and can hear every play by play. All right, well, let's get started with what we're going to need and how to hook it up. So for our buddy who can't hear or for you who wish to remain private in your listening, I recommend a pair of over the ear headphones that are Bluetooth like these Micus SR71 Stealth headphones. Then for your buddy who always has to go to the bathroom, I would recommend a Bluetooth speaker. Any Bluetooth speaker will do. In this case, we're going to use a Jam 2 speaker, which I've reviewed on my channel before. The next thing you're going to need is some way to send those Bluetooth audio signals to those two devices at the same time. To do that, you'll need something like this Micus Home RTX 2.0, which I have reviewed on my channel before, but we're going to use this in our hookup and demonstration. Lastly, you're going to need a speaker or a sound bar for your television. I went ahead and picked up this Amazon Basics sound bar with Bluetooth and its own built-in subwoofer. Now you say, this already has Bluetooth. Why would I need any other kind of Bluetooth? Well, this particular Bluetooth is a receiver only, which means that you could pair your smartphone or your tablet with it and play your music through it, which is fine. But for our scenario, we're trying to get the TV sound throughout our house. So to do that, we're gonna need these other items that we've already discussed, okay? So let's get started on how to connect all of this because what you see here is all you're gonna need equipment-wise for this demonstration. To get the audio out of your television, we're gonna utilize the optical audio output on your TV, which means you're gonna need an optical audio cable, like this one. Now this is a fancy monster one, so yours doesn't have to be this fancy, but what's cool is that the Amazon Basics soundbar comes with its own optical cable, which is really nice. And the reason I point that out is because you're going to need two of them for this demonstration. So I happen to have one that's a little bit nicer than that one, a little bit thicker. This one here happens to be a little bit small and thin and frail. So I would recommend at least upgrading to something you could get at Walmart or from Amazon.com. Let's begin with power connections. So the only two devices that need to be plugged into an outlet is my Bluetooth transmitter and my sound bar. So for the Bluetooth transmitter, it has a micro USB plug on it. I'm just going to plug it right in there. At the other end of it is a little five volt adapter. That's going to plug right into the wall. Over here for the sound bar on the back, you'll see all the connections and you see there's a 22 volt two and a half amp input right there. So I'm going to go take the barrel connector that you see here and that's going to plug right into that. And then the other end, of course, is at the end of this little tiny brick power supply. I'm going to plug this part right here into the outlet. Our next step will be to go to the back of the television set and look for your optical output. It's a real easy giveaway if you look for one that's emitting a little bit of a red light, especially if the TV is on. And that's perfectly safe here to turn the TV on and see where that is coming out from. You can see here, this one is actually marked Digital Audio Out Optical. Hey, very, very simple. Then you're gonna take your audio plug 
and it only goes in one way. So in this case, you can see there's a flat part at the top and kind of a roundish part at the bottom. Turn your cable around so the flat part is at the top, plug it right in, and then it snaps into place. You'll kind of feel it pop when it goes into place. And that part is now done. Our next step is to take the audio cable that we just plugged into the back of the TV and put it into the micus. You'll see here we have a from TV section with optical in. So take the other side of that optical cable and flat part on the top and plug it right into the micus. Now we also need to send the same audio signal over to our sound bar. So we're going to need a second audio cable as we mentioned before. Now notice mine has some kind of a weird cap thing going on on the top of it. Be sure to remove that. That cap is to protect that little end right there that you see there, that little copper piece. It's protecting that from damage, but we do want to remove it. So take that part off if you have one. It might just be a little cap. It may not even actually have a little lasso on it. Again, flat part on the top, and we're going to plug that right in to the back of the micus where it says to speaker. At this point, we have two audio connection cables, one from TV and one going to the speaker. Our next destination is the optical in on the back of the sound bar. That cable is going to come from the one we just plugged in. So it's to speaker. Grab the other end of your optical cable and plug it into the back of the sound bar. Again, flat piece up on the top and our protective cap being removed. So now we have all of our audio connections in place and we can go ahead and begin the process of testing our audio and connecting our devices to the micus. One quick thing to check before we check our audio signal is to make sure this little switch here on the back of the micus is depressed. If it, well, you know, not unhappy depressed, but actually pressed in, okay? So transmit, it should be on the in position to receive, it's on the out position. But for our setup, it's going to be on the in position. Now, the other thing to note is that to turn off the speakers in your television so that they don't play along with the rest of this audio system is to go into the menu and turn the speakers off. So you'd have to check your manual or kind of thumb through your menu to see where that setting is. It's usually under menu and then sound, and there's a place in there to turn the speakers off. If not, then that's something you'll have to live with. Now let's verify that our inputs are set correctly. With my TV turned on and the volume turned down, I'll notice that the optical light is lit. That's what I should have. Okay, so this indicates that the mic is receiving the audio signal from the television. Now let's look at the sound bar. And, and again, this case is for the Amazon Basics sound bar. Yours may vary, but in this case, I have three input options. I have RCA, which is the red and white plugs, auxiliary, which is like a headphone jack, and optical. In my case, I want to make sure the optical indicator light is on, and I can switch them simply by toggling with this button here to the left of those. In your case, you may have a remote or you may have a separate switch in the back. Again, that will vary just to make sure that your input is set to optical. Now let's check our TV sound quality and at this point it should probably blow your socks off. Okay, so if you have socks on, make sure they are secured. I'm going to go ahead and turn this power button on and we should get TV sound that is amazing. Three mortgage payments and give you tax free money from the equity in your home. And here's the best part. You still own your home. Now let's pair both of our audio devices simultaneously to the transmitter, the mic is transmitter here. So on your devices, whether it's a pair of headphones or it's a Bluetooth speaker, follow your operating instruction manual to get it into a Bluetooth pairing mode, okay? Usually it involves hitting a button and holding it until you see a light flashing on it. Then we're gonna go over to the micus and we're gonna do a similar procedure. All the magic is done with this button here on the front. So if I hold this button in, it's gonna start flashing on channel one. Then I go ahead and hit the pair button on my, say, headphones, okay? After I've paired that and I've confirmed that I have audio going through, I'm going to repeat the process. So I'll hit the button again, and then the audio light will start flashing again to pair another device. And when I'm finished, I should have two solid lights here, channel one and channel two. 
It is that easy. So let's test it now and see how our speakers and headphones sound. All right, I've confirmed that both of my Bluetooth devices are paired with the RTX transmitter. I know they're both paired because I have two lights on here. Both channel one and channel two are both lit and both of my devices are powered up. Now I'm gonna unmute the audio that's being sent from the TV and demonstrate the audio quality from this little Bluetooth speaker that will help your friend out in the bathroom. And most annoying word. Americans have voted on the most annoying word in casual conversation and the winner is whatever for the ninth tree here in a row. Now let's demonstrate the headphones. What I'll do is I'll just stick my microphone right in the middle of it and we should hear some audio coming from these. How do you do? My name is Queen Sarah. And I'm X the Owl. I surely am flying around. And here's Daniel Striped Tiger. He's often too shy to talk. But that's all right, Daniel. And of course, I am King Friday the 13th. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Well, guys, as you can see, Jim's ready for the party. Zach is ready for the party. And you're ready for the party because now you have this sound bar as well as this Bluetooth transmitter to get everybody happy and everybody enjoying the game. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave a message below. Ask a question if you got one. And we'll do the best we can to answer your questions and help you out. So... Look for the link to all of these devices in the description of this video. And please share this video with a friend. And we'll see you next time.